High School Band under the direction of Mr. John Allender. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to tonight's RTC TV4 broadcast, where your Lady Comets are hosting the Tri-County Lady Cavaliers. I'm Blair Zimmerman, joined on the other headset by Pete Duvall. Pete, welcome. Welcome, Blair. A great night to be here at the launching pad. Sadly, the wrestling meet scheduled for tonight got canceled, but I am... Uh, I'm glad I'm able to do this girls' basketball game tonight. Absolutely. This should really be a pretty fantastic game. The Cavs are coming in 13-6. and six. Of course, your Lady Comets are still undefeated, sitting at 17-0 and 0 on the season. Uh, so I look forward to this. That starting lineup uh, for Tri-County, number 5, Hannah Arvin. Number 10, Lizzie Baylor. Number 11, Sarah Zarcy. Number 15, Jasmine Durando. And number 44, Grace Luck. Your Lady Comets are starting number four, Macy Henderleiter. Number 11, Isabel Scales. Number 12, Alexa Finke. Number 13, Addison Zimpleman. And the freshman, number 22, Maddie Douglas. And once again, we look forward to our post-game wrap-up when Coach Josh Douglas will come up and join us. And uh, we'll talk over what we see on the floor here tonight. Pete, any predictions? Well, John Harrell's got this predicted as a 50 to 34 win for the Comets, and uh, I think it's gonna I think it's gonna be a great game. I think it's gonna be an even better game when the when these two teams meet in the sectional. Absolutely, this is another one of those sectional potential sectional preview games. Um, so we always look forward to seeing how those shake out. And of course, we're faced off in the center circle, ready to get underway. Scales and Arvin jump. And Cavaliers are gonna get the tip. Baylor starts the offense off. Lady Cavs moves the ball quick. Baylor's got it in the corner. She'll take a three. That one's gonna fall. Well, they're coming out swinging hard. Just like the JV team, these varsity Lady Cavs can shoot. Zilberman gets an open lane. She's gonna have to kick it back out to Scales. Scales drive kick. Jump shot just off the mark. Lady Cavs rebound. Arvin brings it down quick. She'll give it to Luck. Luck back to Arvin. Arvin jump shot just off the mark. Hender Leiter comes out with the rebound. She'll move it down quick to Douglas. Douglas back to Hender Leiter. Back to Douglas. Shot fake. Down in the post. Loose ball. Durando's going to come away with it. Cut. 
Comet. Lady Comet in a 2-3 zone here. Arvin to Luck. Near side to Zarcy. Zarcy using the ball screen. Now she's going to give it to Durando. Pass tipped. It's going to be saved by Isabel Scales. She'll bring it down, throw it down to Hinderleiter. Back to Scales. Scales open three. Shot just off the mark. Is open with the rebound. She'll go up with it, and she'll put it in for two. Lady Commerce now down by one. Two to three with 6.20 to go in the first. Lady Cavs quickly breaking the press. Zarcy top of the key. Shot falls. Another three-pointer in for the Lady Cavs. It didn't look like it was going, but it did. Lady Luck may be on the side of the Cavaliers here tonight. Lady Commerce is going to have to start... Defending hard. Zippelman near wing. She'll put that one up for three, and that one falls. Barely moving the net. A lot of pressure from the Lady Comets. Harvin gets it across to Luck. Luck to Durando in the corner. Back to Luck. Zarcy resetting the offense. Should have luck, luck corner three. That one's in and out. To be out of bounds off of Douglas as she can't pull down the rebound. Zarcy to inbound. She had to dip it to Durando. Durando open three. That one's in. Rolls in. Three different three point shooters with makes. And luck with a near miss. I don't think the Lady Comets can leave anybody open out on the arc here tonight. No, this 2-3 zone is going to give open looks like that all night, though, I think. Now Scales. She's going to clear. Give it to Douglas. Douglas to Zimpleman. Zimpleman cross court to Hinderlein. It throws it out of bounds. I don't even know if she was on the three-point arc if she would have been able to pull that one down. Addison needs to remember that the time in the weight room, it uh, equates to extra power. Quick press break. The Arvin drives, she'll put that one up for two off the mark. Zimpleman gonna pull down the rebound, she'll bring it up for the Lady Comets. She kicks to Douglas. Douglas does it, scales, scales, drives, she's gonna walk with it. Changing her pivot foot down there in the post. A lot of contact. <laughs> Annie Harsh will check in for the comments. Referee down here on the uh, Cavs and blew the whistle before he handed the ball. The Cavs inbound. Luck. She's going to pass to Arvin. Arvin breaks the press. Durando, corner, three. Shots just long. Layup missed, rebounded by Arvin. She'll put it in for two. 11 to five, half of the first quarter gone. Lady Cavs lead. Hinderleiter far side. She's gonna give it to Harsh up top. Zimpleman. Zimpleman to Hinderleiter. Lady Cavs. Great defense there. Scales gets that shot tipped, I think. And then uh, a lot of contact there. Surprised there was no foul call. Yeah. Zimpleman came in hard. Lady Cavs have the ball. Luck far side. She's going to pick up her dribble, and Hinderleiter's going to foul her. Macy Hinderleiter picking up her first, team first, and that dubious honor of game first. Baylor up top, she'll give it to Luck. Luck to Arvin, down into the Baylor in the post. She'll dribble, take a shot off the mark. Jump shot, that one will fall. Zarcy gets the rebound and she'll put that one in for two. Lady Comets in a scoring drought right now. Zimpleman near wing, Hinderleiter. Back to Zimpleman. Down into Scales at the elbow. She'll kick out to Hinderleiter. Hinderleiter for three. That one's off the mark. And Arvin's going to pull down the rebound. 
Lady Comets not getting their usual rebounds. A lot of contact there, no foul call. Now, Zarcy three, that one falls. She had a year and a half to line it up, Pete. Lady Comets on a 7-0 score, or Lady Cavs are on a 7-0 scoring run here. 16-5 with 2.30 to go in the first. Lady Comet struggling against this Lady Cav defense. Scales, she'll drive baseline. She'll go up with it, and she'll draw a foul. It's going to be a lot of contact there. Arvin took a shot right in the gut, it looks like. She just got the wind knocked out of her there. And the Lady Cavs will take a full time out here. We're going to step away and say thank you to our sponsors. You're watching Lady Comets Basketball here on RTC and TV. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Number 21, Evelyn Ross in for the Cavs, and number three, Olivia Thomas, in for the Comets, as well as Maddie Douglas returning to the floor. First free throw, wide right of the rim. Did hit the net, though. Second free throw does fall after an uncharacteristic miss by Isabel Scales. Hard defense by the Lady Comets here on the press. Lob pass down, wide open. She'll put that one in for two. Evelyn Ross puts that in for two. Lady Cavs with three times the Lady Comets points, points right now. Douglas thinks about a shot, doesn't take it. Now that pass is gonna get stolen by Zarcy and she'll bring it down quick. Now Ross again. And Zimpleman's going to come down hard on her. Zimpleman's first, team second. Foul number 13, Addison Zimpleman, her first, team second. First free throw in and out. Second free throw falls. Annie Harsh, far side. She'll give it to Douglas, top of the key. Now back to Harsh. Lady Comets can't find an opening. Scales goes up. Wild shot goes off the mark. She'll get fouled though. Go put her back at the line. Foul there on number 21, Evelyn Ross. Picks up her first, team second. Free throw. Off the back iron. Number five, Hannah Arvin returns into the game. Second free throw off the front of the iron. Lady Cavs rebound. Lady Comets not firing on all cylinders. Lady Cavs working against this Comet defense. Luck for three. That one falls. Cannot leave these Lady Cavalier shooters open. Douglas, near side, three on the way off the mark. Rebound, Tri-County. Near side, Sarcy drives. She'll kick, Durando. Luck, Luck, three. Just off the mark. Zilverman rebounds. Scales, far corner. She gonna drive, kick, Zilverman. Zilverman jumper, fades, puts it in for two. 
Eight to 22. 30 seconds to go. Lady Cavs have the ball. Probably will look for the last shot. Tough defense by the Lady Comets. Arvin's gonna mishandle the pass and that'll be out of bounds. Lady Comets ball with 14-4 to go in the first quarter. Only the second time the Lady Comets were able to force a turnover on the Cavs this quarter, Pete. Yo, know, and that wasn't too much on them as it was just on the Lady Cavalier just missing the pass. And that ball's gonna be stolen. Lady Cavs get another chance here. Shot up and off the mark. Well, at, the end, go ahead. at the end of one, Lady Comets are down 22 to eight. Well, stick with us. We're going to see what the uh, Lady Comets have to answer this in the second quarter. You're watching Lady Comets basketball here on RTC TV. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Comets will have the ball to start the second. Hopefully they were able to uh, get some strategy put together there at the quarter break. Lady Cavs playing a tremendous <laughs> game so far. Long pass. Fought for in the air. It's going to be stolen. Now Tallman drives. She'll put up a layup for two. Valiant effort there by Douglas to try to draw the charge call. Douglas thinks about a three, doesn't take it. She's going to get trapped in the ball stolen right out of her hands. And surprised that wasn't a foul call. She's going to be out off of the Lady Cavs. I mean, Douglas basically wrapped her up in a double leg and took her down. Maybe she's playing the wrong sport, Pete. Douglas to inbound. Long pass into Hinderleiter. So far this game, Lady Cavs have turned over the Lady Comets in a three to one ratio. Their skills hit the two from the line. Douglas comes in hard. She's gonna get a trap there. Tallman gets it. Now, shot up and in by Baylor. Well, you gotta give her props on that one. There couldn't have been any harder coverage on that without a fist fight. Now Lady Collins reworking the offense here. Douglas, Zippelman, Zippelman, three on the way. Well far of the rim. Now Hinderleiter working. She's gonna almost travel, she's gonna save it though. Douglas gives it down to Zimpleman. Zimpleman's going to put that one in for two. Tallman breaks the press quickly. Now down into ba uh, yeah, Baylor. It's being knocked out of bounds off of Olivia Thomas as she blocks the shot. I think he's going to re-enter for the comments. Long inbound, Tallman has it. Luck, Luck mishandles the pass. Zarcy, she's gonna bounce it into Arvin. Pass mishandled and Henderleiter's gonna come away with it. Zimpleman comes down, she's gonna get trapped in the corner, she'll save it out though. Henderleiter to Douglas. Scales. Zimpleman, Henderleiter, Scales. Comets really moving the ball here, looking for an open shot. Scales, long pass into Zimpleman. Zimpleman jumper. That one's going to be off the mark. Put too much on that one. Arvin's going to spin out of the trap. She'll bring it down quick. Tallman to Luck. Zarcy, far side. She thought about a three there. She's going to pass it in the post. Scales is going to steal that one away. Good passing Scales. lane read. Jump shot off the mark. Luck pulls down the rebound. That was just an unlucky roll. Tolman, Lady Cavs working against this Comet defense. Long pass into Luck. Zarcy three, or Baylor, sorry, off the mark. To be out of bounds as she airballs it. A lot of pressure in her face. I think that there might have been just a little bit of contact on that ball as the shot released. 
Well, it wasn't called if it was. Uh, not, not contact on the shot, clean. But you're right, I didn't see the ref signal for that. And there's going to be a foul called there. Wow. Hender Leiter will go to the line for two. Foul there on number five, Hannah Arvin, foul her second, five, team Hannah first in the quarter. First free throw off the mark. All right off the front of the rim. Second free throw rolls in. Number three, Maddie Spencer is going to enter for the Lady Cavs. The Comets have chipped the deficit down, but they're still outscored on the board two to one right now. Luck gets trapped. She's going to pass it to uh, Zarcy, but Zarcy's going to tie up with, with Scales. Lady Cavs retain possession. Quick inbound to Zarcy. Tallman. Lady Cavs break the press. Zarcy brings it across. She'll kick Luck. Luck corner three. That one's off the mark. Isabel Scales doesn't get the rebound. Spencer will put it up for two. Lady Comets getting out rebounded here at the launching pad tonight. Pass into the post. Maddie Douglas three on the way off the mark. Zimplin goes up with it. She'll miss. Lady Comets gonna foul here. I don't think you're allowed to run a slide tackle. That's Zempelman picking up her second. Number 15, Jasmine Durando enters for the Lady Cavs. Zarcy bringing it up. Walk far side. He'll give it to Spencer. Spencer almost loses it. Baylor gets her pass stolen. Scales gonna drive all the way. She'll put that one up for two and off the mark. She split two defenders but couldn't get anything to go. A lot of contact there. Hinderleiter hits Spencer. Hinderleiter picking up her second. Annie Harsh back in for the comments. Addison Zimpleman will get a break. Zarcy gives it to Spencer. Spencer goes up with a shot to be blocked. Lady Cavs ball still. Lob pass in Durando. Now Baylor in the post. That's going to be off the mark. Spencer with the rebound, though. Now she'll miss her layup. Finky comes down with it. Douglas bringing it down quick. Scales pulls it out. Resets the offense. She's going to pick up her dribble. Give it to Douglas. Harsh. Scales. Cross-court pass to Hinderleiter. Hinderleiter's going to pass it back to Scales. Two-pointer long. Two falls for Isabel Scales. 28-15, 2.40 to go in the first half. Cross-court pass to Luck. She'll bring it across. Crosses. Now Douglas is going to come back for it. They're going to tie up with it. It'll be a jump ball. Zempelman and Thomas back in for the comments. Harsh, Douglas, Scales, shot fake, she'll drive, kick to Harsh. Douglas, shot fake, she'll drive, two-pointer on the way off the mark. Zarcy comes down with the rebound. 
She'll bring it down quick. Durando up top. She'll kick to Zarcy. Zarcy thinks about it, doesn't take it. She's going to pass it to our, our Baylor. That's going to be out of bounds off of the Lady Cavs. Two minutes to go. Lady Comets down by 13. Zimbleman brings it in to set up the offense. Douglas, top of the key. She'll kick the scales. Scales. Using a screen there by Thomas. Harsh. Douglas. Oh, off of Douglas' leg. Bad pass. Now Spencer brings it up. She'll give it to Zarcy. Lee Cavs have the ball with a minute 30 to go. In this Spencer at the elbow. Zarcy Luck. Luck Durando to the corner. It's going to be tipped by Douglas. Douglas is going to get it. She's going to take it all the way. And Luck Ow. is going to foul her from behind. That'll be Lux first. Team second. Boy, Tri-County fans trying very convinced that, that foul should have been on the floor. She was absolutely transitioned to a layup. Free throw off the mark. Not very good from the line. Lady Comets. Second free throw. Does not fall either. Lady Cavs with the rebound. Lady Comets right now just two for eight from the Durando, line. quarter three. That one's off the mark. Scales pulls down the rebound. Long pass to Douglas. Douglas takes it. She'll get fouled. Zarcy came down on her arm, missed the ball. Zarcy picking up her first, team third. This point, though, Lady Cavs can foul as much as they want. Lady Comets can't hit a free throw. Not so far tonight. That one was good. First free throw does fall. Second free throw falls. It's like Coach Douglas's comment helped her out there. Ball tipped from behind. It's going to be out off of the Lady Comets. Checking in is number 30, Alyssa Tallman. 44 and a half seconds to go here in the first half. 28-17, Lady Cavaliers lead. Long pass into Durando. She thinks about it. She won't take it. Tallman dishes to Zarcy in the corner. Zarcy's going to find luck. Cross-court pass. Baylor to Tallman. Down in the post, Durando. She'll give it. Her pass stolen. It's going to be out of bounds off of Zeppelman. Great attempt. Great effort down there. She saw the open passing lane, took it away. Lady Cavs getting another out of bounds play here. Long pass into Luck. Tallman. She's going to give it to Durando. Tallman. Long pass to Luck. Zarcy. Tallman, three-pointer. That was off the mark. Zarcy gets the rebound, though. She'll put it up for two off the mark. She'll get another rebound. Scales is going to block that one. Now Lady Comets got a little bit of a... Scales pulls up for a jumper from the elbow off the mark. Zimbabwe's going to get the rebound. She's going to put up a shot. There's going to be a foul. This has got to be a shooting foul. Lady Cavalier fans, hot. Foul there was on Lizzie Baylor, her first. Team four. Lizzie Baylor, her first. Seven of them with two shots. First one falls. Second one falls. And Zempelman goes two for two to close out the first half. At the end of two, it's Cavs 28, Comets 19. We're going to step away, thank some sponsors, 
and uh, come back with some first half wrap up. You're watching Lady Comets basketball here on RTC TV. Full. Lady, Ca Lady Cavs will start with the ball here to begin the second half. Lady Comets playing a man to man defense. Did you have a mic in the uh, locker room that I didn't know about? No. There was a fly, though, told me all the information. Shot, uh, shot put up by Arvin. She'll get fouled by Maddie Douglas. Douglas picking up her first. Sorry, that's on Alexa Finke. Still her first. Free throw off the mark. Second free throw off, also off the mark. She Lotta. nearly gets her own rebound, though. Fighting hard for the rebound. Hinderleiter is going to have it near wing. She'll kick all the way across to Zippelman. Zippelman, three on the way off the mark. Luck with the rebound. She's going to give it to Arvin, who will bring it across the timeline. Near side. Zarcy kicks the luck. Luck down into Zarcy. Cross court to... Baylor, now to Luck. Luck shot blocked. Hinderlander's going to pull it down, but she's going to try and bounce it off. Baylor doesn't work. Arvin goes up for two off the mark. Hinderlander's going to get the rebound this time now. She's going to tie up with Baylor. And Lady Comets will get the basketball. I'm a little surprised there was not an over-the-back call on that rebound. Well, sometimes you're just taller than somebody. <laughs> Fair. Zimbleman. Brings it up, she'll dish to Hinderleiter. Douglas, far side. Cross court pass to Zimpleman. Hinderleiter, she'll dump it into Scales. Scales gives it to Zimpleman. Zimpleman, three on the way, off the mark. She'll get the rebound, though, after Arvin mishandled it. She'll put in that layup for two. Lady Comet strike first, bringing that lead down to seven. Lady Cavs trap. Luck gets it. She, Durando's going to mishandle it. She'll draw a foul, though. Shot will be off the mark. Foul there going on Alexa Finke, picking up her second, team second. Two quick fouls here in the second half. Durando, free throw off the mark, right off the back iron. Second free throw falls. Scales bringing it down. She's going to dish to Douglas near side. Douglas the Hinderleiter. Hinderleiter. Gives it to Zimpleman. Almost stolen. Zimpleman's going to drive kick. Douglas corner three. Ooh, far over the rim and mishandled by Zarcy. Lady Comets retain possession. Big three-point misses here for the Lady Comets in the second half. Inbound to Zimpleman. She's going to drive. Go up with it. She'll miss the layup. Arvin pulls down the rebound. She'll bring it across. Luck for three. That one in and out. Arvin gets the rebound. She'll put in the layup for two. Back to a 10 point lead for the Lady Cavs. Douglas drives, kicks. Zimbabwe drives, kicks. Scales, corner. She'll drive. A little bit of a euro step there. Puts that one in for two. Zarcy passes the luck. Durando back to Luck. Luck shot blocked. And it's going to be a tie up here. Oh, it's going to be a foul on the floor. Going to put that on Maddie Douglas. That is her first. Team third. Foul number 22, Maddie Douglas. Her first. Team third. Lady Cavs inbound. Luck near wing. 
Cross court pass to Durando. Baylor gives it back to Durando. Now Zarcy, she'll drive. She'll give it to Arvin. Now Luck. Lady Thomas back in a 2-3 zone. Baylor, near corner, back to Luck. Zarcy drives, kicks, Arvin to Luck. Luck, back to Zarcy. Lady Cavs moving the ball, really taking time off this clock. Tenderlighter, pass stolen, ball on the ground. Lady Cavs get the ball still. And Zilpelman's gonna go out of bounds with it. No call on that shove. We're going to get a timeout by the Lady Cavs. Be a full timeout. Well, we're going to step away and thank our sponsors while the teams talk strategy. You're watching Lady Commons Basketball here on RTC TV. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Lady Cavs coming out of their own timeout. Luck to Baylor. To Arvin. To Luck. To Rondo, far side. She's going to get a one-on-one -on -one opportunity with Scales. Scales is going to block it from behind. Big block, all ball. Lady Cavs get the inbound again, though. Far inbound to Luck. I'm surprised she didn't fire that three. Well, Lady Cavs might be a little worried after those shooting blows in the second quarter. Now Douglas is going to get the ball. She's going to kick it to Finky. Finky goes up on it. She'll get her shot blocked. Loose ball on the ground. to be out of bounds off the scales. <laughs> Lady Comets putting on full court pressure. Zarcy brings it across the timeline. She'll kick it down, but Henderletta will get the steal. She fights away pressure. Now Zilpelman passed down into Douglas. She'll mishandle it, though. She'll kick it out to Finky, to Zilpelman. Zilpelman kicks it back to Douglas. She'll kick the Hinderleiter to Scales. Scales, three on the way. That one's off the mark. Put it too far. And Zarcy comes down with the rebound. 23-31 with 3.30 to go in the third. Zarcy drives. She'll get it stolen. Now Scales will bring it down. She'll look to bring it all the way. She'll kick to Zippelman. Three on the way off the mark. Lady Comets can't get a three to fall. Lady Cavs missed a wide open Zarcy on the other end of the floor. Luck gives it to Arvin. Arvin goes up with it. High layup off the mark. We're going to get a jump ball here. Possession Tri-County. Alyssa Tolman back in for the Cavs. Tolman long or er, long bound, long inbound to Tolman. She'll give it to Luck. Corner three. That was in. She got over her thoughts there and put that one in for two. Back to an 11 point lead for the Lady Cavs. Hender Leiter looks for an open Scales. Scales is going to draw a foul there. Foul there on number five, Hannah Arvin, picking up her third. Number 21, Evelyn Ross checks back in for the Cavaliers. Douglas throws the ball in to Zimplin, almost out of bounds. Almost a five second call. Douglas near wing, she'll give it to Scales. Scales cross court pass to Zimplin. Zimplin's gonna drive, she's gonna pivot, give it to Thomas. Thomas is gonna get trapped, but she'll dribble out of it to give it to Douglas. Douglas kicks to Zimplin. Two minutes left in the third. 
Zopelman resetting the offense. Douglas, far side, she'll kick down into Scales. It's gonna be a kick ball. Annie Harsh checks back in for the comments. Macy Hinderleiter gets a break. Scales the inbound, she'll give it to Douglas. Douglas gives it to Thomas, to Harsh. Harsh is gonna set up the offense here. Lady Cavs coming out to guard out of the zone. Harsh. Near side, she'll dump it into Scales in the elbow. She'll drive. She's going to draw a foul before the shot. Foul here on number 11, Sarah Zarcy, her second. Team second. Lady Comets long inbound to Scales. Scales doesn't take the three. She'll drive. Kick to Zimbleman. Zimbleman puts that one in for two. We got a timeout here before the ball was inbounded. Lady Cavs fan not happy about that. Full timeout. Boy, we're going to step away, and we'll have to tell you if there's any technicals given on this crowd. We're watching Lady Comets basketball here on RTC TV. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. 90 Lady seconds left here in the third. Lady Cavs get the ball quickly across the court. Layup put in by number 21, Evelyn Ross. 36-25 with a minute 15 to go in the third. Scales at the elbow, she'll kick to Harsh. Harsh is going to dribble baseline. She'll kick it to Scales. Scales goes up with it. She'll draw a foul. Foul here on number 21, Evelyn Ross, picking up her second, team third. First free throw rolls in. Second free throw, nothing but net. Second one looked like what we are used to seeing from Isabel Scales. Under a minute left in the third. Sarcy breaks the pass, press. Tallman almost walks with it. She loses her balance. Sarcy's gonna go, there's gonna be a block foul on Isabel Scales. That was a hard hit to take, too. Yeah, you gotta have those feet set, though. First free throw off the mark. Neither team gonna win by free throws here tonight, Pete. No. Second free throw up, and it falls, though. 10 point lead with 45 to go in the third quarter. Lady Comets with the ball. Zilpelman at the elbow. She's gonna pull it out. She'll give it to Harsh, far side. Harsh long pass to Douglas. Douglas goes up with it. She's gonna get fouled. Foul there on number 10, Lizzie Baylor picking up her second, Foul team fourth. Third. Foul was on the floor. She was not going into the shot yet. Excuse me, that was Baylor's third. Lob pass into Scales. Too far. Now Tallman's going to bring it all the way down. Surprised Scales didn't get called for a foul there. I thought she nicked her. 15 to go. Lady Comets going to look for the last shot here. Douglas with 10 to go. She'll give it to Scales. Now it's five. Scales, harsh, harsh to Scales. Scales pulls it, and that's off the mark. Well short of the basket. 
At the end of three, Lady Cavaliers 39, Lady Comets 27. We're going to step away, thank our sponsors. We'll be right back. This is RTC. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. How about I change our on-screen scoreboard? In the fourth, eight minutes left to play here. Lady Comets have been at a deficit all night long. Lady Cavs came out fire and hit three threes in the first. Put the Lady Comets down early. They haven't been able to dig out of the hole yet. Lady Comets will start with the ball. Zumlin drives, kicks the Henderleiter. Great pass. Shot off the mark. She'll get her own rebound. Put that one up for two, and it will roll in. Got a lucky roll on that one. It's like a little bit of man pressure here. Hinderleiter gets beat. Tallman with it now to Luck. Luck to Zarcy. Zarcy drives. She'll miss it, though. That's going to be a foul on number 21, Evelyn Ross, as she goes over the back. Did you say 21? That'd be her third. Team first. Entering the game for the Lady Cavaliers, number five, Anna Arvin. You know, Pete, the season's almost over, and I'm still forgetting to reset fouls at the beginning of quarters. You'll get there eventually. Douglas. She'll kick this. Finky, but the ball, loose ball. Ball's going to be still loose. Now Luck will pull it down. The scales will steal right out of Arvin's hands, however. Now Zimbleman baseline puts it in for two. Long pass down to Tallman. He's going to pass it down into Ross. It's going to be out of bounds. Off of Ross. Crowd erupts. Both sides going crazy. Number 10, Lizzie Baylor back in for the Cavaliers. We're going to get another timeout here. 30-second timeout by the Lady Cavs. Pete, I have a feeling that tonight might be one of those games that almost every timeout gets used, but we're going to step back, away. Ladies and gentlemen, as that timeout expires. 31-39 with the most of the fourth quarter left to play. Eight-point lead for the Lady Cavs. Lady Cavs quick to keep the Ooh. Lady Comets under control, stopping those uh, scoring drives. Scales cross court pass to Douglas. Douglas gonna drive right handed underhand layup off the mark to be out of bounds off of the Comets. Full court pressure back on. Tallman stolen by Scales. Scales goes up with it. See a draw a foul there. Foul on the shot there. Foul there on number 11, Sarah Zarcy, her third, team second. First free throw gets a very lucky roll. Jasmine Durando back in for the Lady Cavs. Second free throw rolls out. It's going to be knocked out of bounds off of Addison Zeppelman. Luck pass almost stolen by Zeppelman. Knocked loose. Scales is going to grab it. Now Zippelman drives, puts that one up left-handed off the mark. Ball being pushed around. Finky gives it to Scales. Scales to Douglas, near side. Douglas. Cavs dropping out of that hard pressure. Now Finky, or er, Hinderleiter shot off the mark. Zarcy pulls down the rebound. They uh, Cavs have numbers. Ball's going to be tipped. Luck pulls it down. Now knocked out of bounds off of Zimmelman. 
High pressure defense here being played by the Lady Comets. Lady Cavs inbound to Arvin. Scales. Baylor, far side. She's gonna get trapped in the corner. Hinderleiter's gonna pull that one down. Big air there by Macy Hinderleiter to pull that pass down. She's gonna give it to Scales. She'll get it back now. Now Douglas near wing. She'll give it to Scales. Scales drives, puts that one up off the mark. Couldn't draw a foul there. She's gonna knock it loose though. A lot of contact there. She'll save it, give it to Zimbleman. Zimbleman shot off the mark though. Now Arvin's gonna draw a foul on Douglas. That'll be Douglas' second, team first. We're going to get another timeout here. Full timeout by the Lady Cavs. All right. Well, we'll be back in a minute. You're watching Lady Comets Basketball here on RTC TV. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Lady Cavs with a seven-point advantage with five minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Looking inbound. Inbound tipped. Loose ball. Ball's going to go out of bounds off of the Lady Cavs, Lady Comets basketball. Lady Comets to inbound. Zippelman gets it. She'll give it to Hinderleiter. Scales near side. Douglas. She's going to drive. Kick to uh, Zippelman. It's going to be a foul on Zippelman as Arvin steals the pass. That'll be Zimpleman's third, team second. Now well, Zimpleman fouls out here, that could be a big advantage to the Lady Cavs. Luck inbound to Arvin. Arvin dribbles out of the trap. She's going to throw it out of bounds, though. She goes three rows up into the bleachers. Lady Comets get the ball back. Now Scales will bring it up. Lady Comets still unable to score in over two minutes, though, Pete. Lady Comets almost lose the ball themselves, and now Zeppelin's going to get pick pocketed by Zarcy. Zarcy's going to work against Douglas. She'll beat her. Now she'll drive baseline. She'll go up against Hinderleiter. Miss the shot. Now Scales. She's getting a lot of contact there. To be a foul on number 15, Durando. Durando has him to give. That's her first, team third. A lot of contact there. Scales draws the foul. Two more puts him in the bonus. Zippelman working the offense. Douglas. She'll move it to Hinderleiter. To Douglas. Lob pass to Scales near side. Comets don't have a lot of time to work with here. Seven points is a lot still. Hinderleiter. Let's face it, the clock is Zippelman. the uh, Tri-County's teammate right now. Now back to Hinderleiter. Hinderleiter pass into the elbow. Scales jumper. That one falls for two. 34-39 with 3.30 to go. Lady Cavs break press. Comets at the smallest deficit they've been at since the first quarter. Since, since it was five to, or well, I guess technically since they hit their first three. Yeah. Now, Arvin passes the Baylor up top. She'll give it to Luck. Luck, wide open three. Can't leave her open. She drains that one. Lady Comets aggressive defense opening up a massive hole for Luck. She has been hitting those all night. Passing to Zilberman in the post. She puts up a shot off the mark. 
to be out of bounds off of Zeppelin because she didn't get back in bounds before she grabbed it. We're going to get a timeout here by Coach Douglas. Full timeout. All right. Well, we're going to step away. This is Lady Commons basketball on RTC TV4. Scales all over Baylor. That's going to draw a foul. Scales picking up her second there, team third. Foul number 11, Isabel Scales. First second, team's third. Lady Cavs inbounds to be out off of Scales. Lady Cavs finally get it in. This is Arcee. Using some pretty good ball handling skills there. She'll give it to Luck. Luck, long two-pointer. It's going to be off the mark, but rebound to the Cavs. Now that's going to be tipped. Douglas is going to grab it. She's going to get stripped from behind, though. Now loose ball on the ground. Finky shot on the way. That one did for two. Another timeout by Coach Douglas. A 30-second timeout. We'll keep this one here. Under two and a half minutes here to play. 221. Tri County leads by six. 42 36. Lady Collins have not been amazing from outside tonight. And that's really been um, our major downfall. Zimpleman hit one in the first quarter. And then after that, the Lady Comets have dropped 11 or 12 three point attempts all night long. Also, part of this story are the seven missed free throws. I mean, it would have required 100% shooting, but free throws could have made a difference on the scoreboard. Yeah, even if you hit two more, you know, it's it's a lot closer than a six-point deficit. Now, Lady Cavs to inbound. They're going to get tipped out of bounds off of Douglas. Great energy here. Late. Hopefully it's not too little too late. Zarcy pins Douglas and she'll beat her down the court. Surprised there was no foul there. Loose ball still. That's going to be a foul on Finky as she tried to come from behind. Finky there picking up her third. Team fourth. Next comment foul puts the Cavs on the line. Arvin with the rebound. She'll beat her. Got an open lane to the post. She'll put up a left-handed layup, and it's going to fall for an end. One opportunity. Madison Douglas there, picking up her third. Free throw off the mark, but Lady Cavs get the rebound as Zarcy pulls it out, looking to waste some time away. Luck near side. Finky comes out to guard her finally. Now Zilpelman working against Zarcy. Baylor up top. Scales is going to come in and foul hard. That'll send the Lady Cavaliers through the line. Isabel Scales picking up her third foul there. <coughs> Unfortunately, at this point, they have to sacrifice some fouls if they can't get a turnover forced. They need to have some people who don't have as many fouls foul. Free throw up and good. Second free throw, looking to make it a 10 point lead. That one will fall. 36 46, minute 40 to go. Ender Lighter gives it to Scales. Scales spins, drives, fouled on the shot. That'll send it to the line. All fouls from here on out will be shooting fouls. Hannah Arvin picking up her fourth foul there. Team's fourth. 
for three throw falls. Second free throw falls. Lady Cab lob pass in. Luck pulls it down. Zippelman gets a hand on that. Arvin pulling the ball out. Lady Cavs going to just waste clock away here. Scales ties up with it. It's going to be a jump ball. Lady Cavs ball still. I'm really surprised that that wasn't Scales picking up her fourth foul. There was a lot of contact on that jump ball. Lady Kyle has got to be ready for a backdoor cut to the basket here. Looks like Scales will be ready for it. Finky guarding the inbound. Now Zarcy has it working against Douglas. One minute remains here at the launching pad. Lady Cavaliers wasting time away. Lady Comets need a foul here. Now Arvin gets trapped. It's going to be out off of Scales. Passing to Arvin. Luck. Zarcy up top. Lady Commons need a foul here. I think Zimpleman just got away with one. We're going to get a timeout here by the Lady Cavaliers. Final timeout. believe it's a 30. I believe so too. We have too many key players with no fouls to give. Sounds like they got one to Sounds like there's a lot of people with one to give. And, and there was there's one. Isabel. Foul number 11, Isabel Scales, her fourth. Arvin at the line. First free throw falls. Her first make of the night from the free throw line. Potentially final nail in the coffin there, Pete. Second free throw up, and that one is in and out. Scales is going to pull down the rebound. They got to get down the court quick. Got to shoot a three here almost. Yeah, realistically, Zippelman, there's three on the way. That one's off the mark. Rebound to be out of bounds. Off of off the, the Lady Cavs. Annie Harsh coming in for the comments. Lady Comets got to get it inbounded here. Now Zimmerman's going to go up with it. Two pointer in. And we're going to get a timeout here by Coach Douglas. He's got one left now. Apologies to Rochester Iron and Metal. We thank them for their sponsorship. We Quick inbound. Somehow Zimmerman doesn't get called for a foul there. We will get a foul here. Uh, I think it'll be on it will be on Zimpleman. Zimpleman picking up her fourth. Sending Zarcy to the line. Zarcy is one for two from the line here tonight. First free throw off the mark. Seven points with ten seconds. It's a tough margin to get close to. Zarcy looks to make it eight. Off the mark. Scales is going to pull down the rebound. It's going to be a jump ball. Comets with possession. Waste time, though. Nine seconds to go. Hard pressed by the Lady Cavs. Uh, six seconds. This game is going to be over no matter what this shot does as it misses. And Finky puts in the right-handed layup to drop the lead down to 42-47. Wow, what a heartbreaker here tonight as not only does Tri-County end the Lady Comets winning streak on the season, but concludes a two and a half season home court winning streak. Uh, heartbreaker here. Uh, 
in the grand scheme of things though, the only streak that matters, Pete, is the one that starts with sectionals. So we're gonna step away. We are going to thank our sponsors and uh, we'll be back with a post-game wrap-up. You're watching Lady Comets basketball, or you have been watching Lady Comets basketball here on RTC.